Good morning and welcome back. New journal share. Um, I'm slowly finishing all the journals that I have um, started two months ago or so. And today I show you the flip through of these two journals. Um, I have used the uh, digital kit from Calgary Collage. Um, I will link them in the description box. And um, they are both soft cover journals, um, 80 pages, for, uh, no, 84 pages front and back. And um, they have a slightly different measurement. Um, this year, the, 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 the bright one here um, is six by eight and three quarters. And this one here is six and a half by eight and three quarters. So let's start it. Um, soft cover journals, um, fabric cover uh, in between cardstock and on the inside also fabric. Um, sewn completely here around. Gorgeous fabric. This, it feels a little bit like a upholstery fabric. Feels like a little bit. So uh, closure is completely removable. Obviously, flowers, um, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I have let here all the threads long. If you don't like it, you can easily cut them off. I like them as so as long as they are here. They are not all so long. But um, let's show you the inside. So here on the cover, there's just this label. You can write here your name or, or the word journal, whatever you want. This year, this says dreamy. And the sari raffle, <clears throat> it opens up like this. So on the inside, this is also um, coffee stained fabric. Um, let me show you if you can see this. Here, these are leaf stitching, and then a straight stitch just to 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 seal uh, or to stop this here from fraying. I have also used fray stop. Here on the inside, this is um, stenciling. And um, it is, a, um, I'm not sure what the color is called. Uh, let me try to find it. It's this color here. Mm. So, uh, a pocket made out of uh, pattern cardstock. I have used on top gesso and script sampling. Here, Bloom Wild. This is from Calco Collage. Um, this element also. I have made here from the same cardstock uh, a tag. This is from uh, Calco Collage, this flower. So. Gorgeous pages, really gorgeous pages. I must say I have crunched them a little bit up. They are brighter than uh, I have them here in this journal. Um, I printed them on uh, photo quality paper and then I sprayed on top a uh, mixture from um, coffee and Distress re ink a vintage photo. Stamped lines. Here a little um, domino image. Here is also uh, this leaf stitching. I'm pretty sure the camera cannot pick it up. Um, coffee stamp paper. Sari raffle. Some stem stenciling. <clears throat> this is charming. This is a book page. I have also coffee stained. A uh, little. Um, Hostage stamp. So here's also again this leaf st stitching. I have clipped here this little journal card. This is also from uh, Calco Collage. I have cut it out. This is a book page. Here's this double corner tucks, I would say, and um, the journal card, and here the seat, I, I made a lot of seat packets where, where you can put your stuff in there, so you have something to collect, a spot to collect your your, your little uh, bits and pieces, and the little journal card, more stamping, uh, stenciling, stamping, stamping, um, yellow sari raffle, uh, the earth, love, and flowers. 
Uh, this is also a piece, or this um, was a pattern cardstock. I have gessoed and uh, inked on top, so it's more greenish. A little element here. Tag I made. Yeah, this is from Pergolage, and here I have used um, another kit from her, the seed packets. Um, they are empty, but you can easily fill them with uh, little things that you have or with an, uh, an additional um, piece of paper. Another one, and the circle as a tuck. Here, this card is also a tuck. You can see here again stenciling and stamping. And you need a little. Um, Tag I made with this fussy cut element. This is a uh, pack. This ba banner here is a tag to so contact the, the card here underneath. It's again a book page. And um, this um, library pocket. This also here a tuck that can tuck something uh, behind. This is avocado dyed paper, more sari ruffle, stamping and stenciling. Here's the uh, leaf stitching here on the bottom. Here's it here on the side. Show you so you can see here a little bit this. So, yes, in real, you see it uh, m much better. Stamping and doll here in the middle. These are two little butterflies here. More stamping and stenciling. So, lots of room for writing and gluing things in there. <clears throat> Stamping and sari ruffle and um, avocado dyed papers. This is a fold out pocket that you know from me already from the idea from Terry Wood. So lots of, of these um, uh, um, seed packets. Uh, I made them from parchment paper. You can with a with a, um, a waterproof pen. You can write on the back side. Uh, the the lines I have uh, used uh, corrugated card cardboard and I uh, used this distress ink. Um, it's also this what is it for 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 a color? What what does the lid says? Seedless preserves. And I have um, used this on the cardboard and then I stamped this on here on top. So it's not brown. It's this. Pinky color. Here another pocket and tags and journal cards. And even if this is um, this kit is called spring spring blush. Um, it's not it's, uh, not just uh, used in spring. You can use it the whole year now. So from the garden off, and then maybe you want to add your here your name. A little tag I made. Another of these um, seed packets I made. More seed packets and journal card. More seed packets and more journal cards. Stamping and stenciling. I like this journal. This is uh, also a fold out. This is an avocado dyed paper. Here I have um, stenciled and this folds out completely. And a tag I made. Oopsie. And loose fibers for free. <laughs> 
gorgeous pretty pages. Another tuck. So lots, lots, lots of sewing. Here, um, for example, yeah, I have uh, sewn, maybe I can show it on the other side. Uh, here, this is the leaf um, sewing and then the straight stitch, you see it here. Maybe, yeah, it's now you can see the straight stitch and then here. So I, I used here different stitching um, on all this. Yes, this is straight stitch and then we have here a zigzag. So to have um, more interest. And more journal card and tag I made. So that's the first one. That's the dark one. <laughs> God dress fabric. <laughs> I hope I can find this again. I, I have received this uh, ages ago. Don't know where I got this from. So and then we have. This one uh, with the same kit, other elements, uh, no, other elements, other than, yes, other elements and other pages, uh, main pages, because this kit was uh, so large that I have split it into half, printed some pieces twice, um, for example, the words and the journal cards and such, so you will see it later. So this is um, also a soft cover here with um, ink dots. Uh, here you can see the straight stitch to stop fraying. I have used fray stop here also. And then here this um, leaf stitching all around from the garden off. Maybe your name. It's also this the type of, or it feels like upholstery pols fabric. It has uh, the same amount of pages. Also the pockets in the, in the front. And here another uh, tag I made. So the main pages are different because I put half the pages in this journal and the other half in the other journal. So um, here's another. Uh, and, and here I have used black sewing mostly. And in the other one, um, I would say um, yeah, off-white. So if you don't like the long threads, you can cut them off. Book page. Here you can see the stitching a little bit better. The same amount on seed packets. As I can, as it, as I said, you can with a with a waterproof uh, pen, pen. Yeah. You can write here uh, on the back side. And you can uh, easily tuck more things in there. There's uh, space to, uh, to let this journal grow. <coughs> Excuse me. Here you can see this is also parchment paper and here I have used some metallic ink dots, splashes. And the book pages are also uh, different uh, to the other one. There are no equal book pages. Yeah, this is um, obviously e um, equal than the, in the other. So this, uh, like I said, I've, I've printed uh, a couple of elements twice to fill the journals, but there are enough uh, pages who are completely different. Here the doily I have also here uh, stenciled and then with splashes, oopsie, 
here you can see splashes this is different from the other one with mini tiny cards maybe you can write a mini tiny note there so and you can very easily put um, pictures here on these pages and uh, or you can also maybe you use some washi tape and put a note from you on these pages. You can journal then on these pages or on this um, here um, stenciled uh, pocket, fold out pocket. You can use them this here to journal on the back side and use fibers for free and use this as a bookmark if you wanted to. I use this as a bookmark and journal on the back side. <laughs> it's really a gorgeous kit. I made this this focal point from Kirby Collage. Here again this parchment paper with the um, metallic colored splashes. So this is very purpley pinkish. Here you can see what I meant and the other one uh, with different stitches. Here the straight stitch, then the sleeve stitch, then again the straight stitch. And here, uh, zigzag, straight, zigzag again, straight. So this was uh, a lot of changing always the stitches. But I think it turned out really great and it adds um, much interest, I think. This is a brownish um, fold-out pocket. Here again leaf stitching and straight stitching and here again uh, zigzag straight zigzag straight so I have always and on the text also um, so I always change the, the stitches during sewing it takes a while <laughs> but I think it's good <clears throat> and it adds really really much interest to this cards. That's the back side here. Another tag. Oh, and here you can see I have uh, used this metallic color splashes on the inside cover from the, of, on the fabric. That's this journal. So, these two gorgeous um, flower themed journals and really much fun uh, with this kit from, from Kalko Goulash. And I hope you like them. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye bye.